uh, I decided to test the uh, Llama 3 model on a desktop with two NVIDIA GPUs to see if uh, the model uh, will load completely in both G GPUs. So the 70B model, 70 uh, billion parameter model, if uh, each parameter is uh, two bytes, then we need 140 uh, gigabytes of uh, GPU, right? Uh, if it's just one byte precision, we need 70 uh, gigabytes. And if we're running at four bit quantization, then we need only 35, maybe 40 uh, gigabytes. So uh, we tried to run the four bit quantized model. Right, and uh, the uh, NVIDIA 3090 has 24 gigabytes. So if we have two of those, we have total of 48 gigabytes. Now the question is, if when we run it using a llama, a llama will be smart enough to load part of the model in one GPU and another part in another GPU so that the model sits in GPU memory all the time and you don't need to waste time on reloading uh, the weights. So these are the details of our experiment. Uh, so we used a desktop with uh, two GPUs. Uh, CPU is uh, a Ryzen Threadripper. It's a 3900 model uh, with 12 cores, 24 threads. RAM size was only 32 gigabytes. And uh, we used Windows subsystem for Linux, uh, WSL2. Uh, we used the two classes of model. Uh, models 8 billion parameters which is a smaller model and 70 billion parameters and we tried different variations of those models uh, found that they are approximately the same uh, ballpark uh, in terms of speed so we just uh, will speak in categories of 8b and 70b models uh, we also compared performance with the uh, latest and greatest uh, macbook pro max with 128 gigabytes of unified memory uh, the prompt, we were using the same prompt. Uh, it's pretty lengthy, but what it asks a uh, model to do is to make a list of 10 presidents. And the reason why it is made that long is to make sure that it's very, very specific and the output will be always the same on all the models. So results below show uh, total durations of the response in seconds and output speed in tokens per second. So we have Linux uh, uh, running under Windows and Mac. So for 70 billion parameter models, first of all, the total duration on Linux is about 10 seconds, on Mac it's about 16 seconds. So about the same ball park range, but Mac is a bit slower. And you can also see it in tokens per second. We have 14 tokens per second on Linux and uh, less than nine on Mac. Now, if you sw switch to a small model, then we have uh, about two and a half seconds total response time and about 56, 57 tokens per second, uh, the generation speed. So they're very close. Uh, the smaller model is great for testing. Uh, it runs fast, it's reasonably good. But then for production, I always switch to 70B model, to a bigger model, which is comparable to Claude Sonnet, uh, a little bit uh, worse than GPT-4, but uh, the win is that it's running locally and it's completely free. Uh, 